Hey everybody, I am back again, and this time I'm going to be shooting a special video for a uh, contest. I don't often do contests, but uh, this is one I wanted to do because it's for a collector who I have a lot of respect for. Uh, he goes by the uh, the name Blue Jacket 66, and uh, he's got a, a great collection that's kind of after my own heart. And uh, like I said, a very generous YouTuber as well. Uh, he likes to to share. Uh, the stuff that he has and uh, just wanted to do this video and uh, the premise of the video was to kind of show and tell a story of what got you collecting into baseball cards or sports cards in general so uh, laying out in front of me is some of the uh, the cards from my childhood and there's a story behind it and I'm going to tell that story uh, and the reason why I am so uh, such a big vintage collector still to this day so uh, it always goes back to uh, when I was a kid uh, back in the mid to late 80s and uh, I lived in a town called Bellevue, Nebraska, and that town was uh, just happened to be right next to uh, an Air Force base called Offutt Air Force Base. And so one day, uh, a young 18, 19 year old kid came, started coming to our church, and he was a young airman in the Air Force, and um, kind of started a friendship to him. And I and I looked up to a lot of him. His name was uh, Tom No, and I looked up to him as any little kid would look up to somebody, a uh, young man in, in the uniform, and kind of kind of worshipped the ground that he walked on, and he saw that I was uh, starting to collect baseball cards and had a love affair for him, and so for my uh, 12th birthday in 1988, he, he wrote me a special letter. In that letter, he said, uh, I'm going to be giving you my entire childhood collection, and you could imagine my uh, my excitement, my anticipation. Uh, I took the letter and had it framed up in my room as I was waiting for the, the cards to show up, because you know, he had to go back to Indiana, his home uh, home state, to, to gather the cards up and bring them back. So here it is, uh, and, you know, a couple months later, and the cards finally, he finally comes with the cards. And I'm going through these boxes, and, you know, I'm pulling these cards out. And just, you know, there's something about just touching the, you know, the old vintage cardboard, the smell of the old tops. You know, I just, it was an instant love affair. And, uh I mean, I was immediately, you know, like a legend in the neighborhood now because, you know, no, none of the kids that I collected with had this kind of uh, a vintage collection. Now, all this stuff that I have right here, you know, it's not gradable. And in today's society, you know, th these are these are some in some ways, you know, some people would consider throwaway cards. Uh, but I absolutely love it. And uh, if you go back and look at my videos, you can see that I, I basically tried to recreate all these cards. I mean, every one of these cards I have here, I have all in higher grades. Um, some of the ones in the back too, uh, but you know what? It's it was all started by that the generosity of uh, that guy Tom back when I was just a kid. And let me tell you, man, he made my he made my year, you know. And the fact that it still affects me today in in my hobby and and what I choose to choose to do uh, is is it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, and it just kind of tells you it shows the value of you know what you know. Sometimes a young kid. You know, give them something, help them out with their collection, and they can start a love affair that'll last a lifetime. So uh, these are the cards. Like I said, not great quality uh, vintage when it comes to grade wise, but man, I just love to touch. You know, just like looking at this. You know, Juan Marichal's last 74 card. You know, clearly it's all beat up, but just the softness of the cardboard and once again the smell of it. It's great just to hold these cards. You know, because you know the ones I have slab, I, I never touch. You know, and they look good in their holders, but there's something about, you know, the old beat up cards from the 60s and 70s. As far as uh, what else I collect, uh, I am a primarily a sports card collector, but I do have uh, a little collection for uh, for what I call G.I. Joe comics here. So uh, this is uh, issue one. Uh, when I was a kid growing up uh, in the 80s, of course, G.I. Joe was very big and I, I really enjoyed the cartoon. I enjoyed especially collecting the action figures had quite a few of those action figures and so it was only natural that I gravitated toward these G.I. Joe comics and uh, I remember going to the convenience store in the 80s and uh, waiting you know every month wondering is a new episode out or the new issue out and, and I'd go down and read that issue cover to cover first chance I'd get and uh, I started to have a nice collection my childhood collection obviously because I read those things so thoroughly and then always had them with me they're totally trashed and uh, eventually probably just got thrown away, I imagine. So um, in my early 20s, I started collecting them a little bit. Uh, but, you know, being in the military and especially the Navy, I didn't have an opportunity to really have a good collection. And um, 
So I, uh, my mom also, you know, bought a lot of them from uh, like issue 60 on up. I have almost all of those issues and I've slowly but surely started to buy some of the earliest issues uh, when this came out. So uh, I do collect these and, and enjoy them, but not to the extent of the baseball cards. I mean, the baseball cards, that's my first love. I like these G.I. Joe comics. I think they're pretty cool. But these these are my first love right here, these, these sports cards, because they tell a story in their own right. It's all about the history. It's about the game. It's about the artistry of the images. It's just uh, it's a connection to my childhood that uh, that'll probably never be broken. So once again, everyone, I appreciate uh, your posts and comments. Uh, once again, I'm posting this for uh, Blue Jacket 66 contest. Hope you check out his channel. It's amazing. He's got an awesome collection that he loves to share. And uh, I appreciate your posts and comments, and I'll talk to you again soon.